All right, folks, I am going to talk through the personal assignment a little bit here for you so that we have some clarity. All right. Let, oops. That's not what we want. We want assignments. So part of your submission for your resume Part of you've been working towards all semester in developing your individual resumes and thinking about potential programs you want to apply to, things like that. Right, so let's see. You all submitted your resume. Okay, this is in module five. So this resume also had a requirement for you to think through some of these places that you would potentially either want to apply to, market to your customers. Um, or apply as a job or a, another educational program, what have you, and identify the sources. So in Word, we learned a number of things. Okay, I'm going to start a new document, just a blank document. One of the things here that you'll be using is your references. Okay, so you use your citation manager. I'm on a Mac right now, so it looks slightly different. There's a video of this um, on a PC version, so you can go ahead and open that if you want. You, when you click this drop down, when you see type of source, you have a number of options available to you. You might use website for most of these um, if you are looking at, you know, for example, the requirements for a, a transfer degree program to Castleton. Uh, Okay, so that might be there. You might be looking at a website, um, electronic resource. Okay, might be reading a PDF embedded in a website. All right, miscellaneous could also apply. Um, I know some of you had like field descriptions. So, all right, go ahead and add your, your sources. So one of the things that we'll start to do. Let me go back. I hope it doesn't drop me. Oh, it drops me all the time. So there we go. All right. So the next thing that's kind of due on the individual group assignment is this interview script. Okay. So for this resume or website, you're gonna really do your elevator pitch. So by elevator pitch, what I what do I mean? I mean, what are the, the top level things you want to get across? So each of you have done some research at this stage. You know where you're going or what field you want to be in. Or maybe you're still somewhat undecided, but you know that you intend to transfer. And so you've started to look at other programs or maybe you have a product or, you know, a blog, what have you. So this is if I were to have the opportunity to really quickly tell somebody key about what I'm doing. That's my elevator pitch. That's my you know, from the time you, you step on the elevator to the time you get off at the next floor, what can you tell this person? Uh, I guess it's kind of generic. It's really kind of developed for a, a culture in which you live in large skyscrapers. And, you know, of course, there's this, this, this aspect of it. But that, that aside, it is your two to three minute, like, what are your top level? Um, for me, I might speak to the fact that I'm a data scientist, that I like to do solutions um, building. I enjoy uh, building architecture, things like that. So that might be something that I, you know, I focus on. Um, so it just kind of depends for others. You know, Xavier, for example, is uh, interested in childcare and already works in the field. So your resume might be looking at more things like how do I get additional training in the industry or certification and what programs might I be applying to as a higher education? Um, whereas, you know, Shannon, you're really looking at, it, at building a blog. And so that's a totally different, totally different thing. But in throughout all of this, um, folks have been doing research um, to identify this. So your interview script is really a couple minutes of what this might look like. Okay. Alongside it, you're going to submit, you know, your script, your two to three minute blurb. This is your top level. Um, you know, for, for example, like think of it as, um, you know, one to 
two, two to three lines maybe um, of just like, these are your, this is what you're passionate about. These are your skills. Uh, this is what you intend to do. Okay. Research note cards that includes your citation. This is where I want you to link to programs you've applied to. Um, you know, for example, if I was interested in, uh, I don't know, MFA programs in creative writing, because I am, you know, one of the, the sources I might use might be, let's see, I don't see Bennington in the, the top, but you know, I'm very interested. Part of the reason that I decided to become a student myself at CCV was because of the transfer opportunities available to you here. And they have this great MFA program that I find very interesting. And so I would come to the MFA program. I would say, okay, academics, let's see area of study. Okay. Plan process. I'd look through this. And I want writing, creative writing. Let's see. Why don't I see it? It's right in front of me. Oh, it's going to be under literature. Okay. Faculty of Writers. Here we go. So come down here. I'll look through this. This is their writing faculty. Let's see, field work terms this is where people look. And so I might be interested in, you know, oh, look, they receive funding through this program. I wonder if I qualify for this program. Do I? So I look through this. I may find out I do qualify for this program. I don't necessarily. I don't know. I didn't look at it closely enough. But then this might be a source that when I go to apply to this program, I'm also going to apply to this fellowship. And so if we're at, you know, Castleton University, all right, I'm a, it's a liberal arts college. We're going to be doing transfer programs here. So let's see. We look at undergraduate programs. Let's see. Admissions for transfer students. Okay, so there's two pieces of kind of websites that y'all will be looking at in this this example. Um, I know, Haley, you've kind of done some of this research. You've identified a study abroad program even that you want to do um, from here. Okay. So here's where you're going to find out information about the program in specific. So you'll come down to academic majors. You know, Morgan, you kind of have an interest in criminal justice. I know you want to get out of the area, but um, there's that. Okay. Okay. So I'd look through this program, get an idea of the requirements, and then I might go over here to admissions. And since I'm a transfer student, I'd say for transfers, okay, this applies to me. I'm looking to complete my degree. I'm coming from community colleges of Vermont. So in addition to sort of checking out the general transfer information, as well as scholarships, those are huge. Um, I'd also kind of come over here to the community colleges of Vermont one and see specifically for those that are coming from my background, you know, what, what might be specifically relevant. Okay. So if you are planning on completing your CCV degree following one of these pathways in the future, you may be interested in Vermont direct college admissions program. So if you guys aren't already aware of this. Um, please do check it out. Direct admissions. Okay. That's a really cool feature. I know a number of you have, have referenced that. So for those of you looking to transfer to a different university entirely, um, it might be a little bit different. But so each of these pages then you would cite. So this particular page, I would go in and I would say in my Word document, this is a website. Author is Castleton, oh, and I'm going to select in this instance corporate author because it's it is a institution. So Castleton University. Okay, put the URL here. Oh, I got to go back and copy it again. Oh, actually, this 
this from our internal, so it's Vermont State College's system. So I'll make sure and update that. Vermont State College's system. The web page does not want to let me copy this web page. Okay. Um, and this was when we accessed it. So I'm going to do today's date. Okay. I'm going to show all fields. Oh, no. So I'm going to say when accessed here. 11. So I'm going to leave this blank unless one thing that you will often do, especially in, um, you know, research courses in general, is you'll go down and you'll, you'll kind of check out the copyright. So the copyright on this website um, is 2022. So that's what I'm going to put there. That will give us at least some idea. It doesn't have a publication date because this is a static page. Um, but this is just what we can do. The name of the website. Okay. So the name of the website is going to be this. Okay. This is VSCS Direct Admissions. This is kind of top level. It corresponds well to the URL. So it works well in this instance. Name of website. Okay. And the name of the web page. Actually, the name of the web page is going to be this. And then the name of the website is going to be Vermont. Real quick. Um, yeah, we're just going to call this Vermont State College's system again. Okay. We're going to leave that. Okay. So that's kind of what it is. That's, that's, that's enough information. All right. So let me see. All right. Now I've got this first one. Then I'm going to add, let's see. I'm going to go to Bennington College. I'm going to look at admissions. Let's say early application deadline is December 1st. Interesting. Okay. So let me see. I don't see anything specific to transfer students here initially. Here we go. Apply. Okay, two ways to apply. Oh, so there's a, just a whole other thing. Here we go. Transfer students. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. All right. Application checklist. Community College of Vermont. Okay, here we go. So there we are. So then I'm going to include this one too. Okay. I'm going to come back in here. This is another website. It's a corporate author. This is Bennington College. Okay, I'm going to paste the URL. Oh, nope, it didn't do it. Copy. Okay, the name of this website is the hierarchy. So I'm going to pull admissions and transfer students. Okay. And then I'm going to pull Community College of Vermont. Okay. Check out the year. This is, does it does have a copyright. It does not. All right. Okay. So I'm going to show my fields and I accessed it here. And with any website, you're almost always going to need to put the date you last accessed it. It's very important. Okay, here we go. All right. Let's see what else I might want to add here. All right. 
I've got Castleton for transfer students. Same thing. Okay. Just kind of depends on what you are looking at in specific. Okay. And then this one too. So welcome community college students of Vermont. So this would be a good one for those of you looking to go to Castleton. Okay. All right. So admissions, transfer students, community colleges of Vermont, all the information you, you will need there, as well as scholarships. So scholarships are a big thing. Okay, for scholarships will be available 2020. Okay. Oh, as Castleton is becoming Vermont State University, so it's changing its name. Okay. So here's all the information you have here for new student scholarships. As transfer students, you'll have uh, maybe some specific ones available to you. Vermont residents, there you go. Achievement scholarships, so keep those grades up. All right. Academic program scholarships, so you got a lot here. So there's one in particular. Oh, here you go. Transfer success. There you go. That's a good one. Okay. Tuition break, attending from qualified states. Okay. So there you go. You might include that. Now let's say you're someone who has a business and you are looking for, um, you know, dog treat companies or um, let's see, producing in Vermont. You're doing some opposition research because you want to you know, you want to know what so we got here. Wagatha's in Manchester. Okay, so I might go to Wagatha's site, check out what she's got, I'm doing a little bit of research, what kind of holiday thing she has going on. Hmm, interesting. Let's do a little bit about her. Look at her ingredients list. Okay. All right. So she's got this. So for this one, I might say, you know, instead of looking at, oops, you know, this one above obviously is the scenarios transferring to a different program with a resume as the, you know, individual. Mission. Now we're going to do business website as submission. So your elevator pitch here is going to be different, but so too are your sources. So here, you know, this is Wagatha's. Okay, that's the URL. We're going to look at products. Okay. I access this, All right? And I might, you know, say, you know, reviewed um, local market for existing businesses in this domain to understand and price products okay. or you know this is getting back now to this piece of a citation um you know your work cited you would cite it and then i'm going to insert it let's see how do i insert And I'm going to change my, there we go. I'm going to see how it looks with different citation styles, Chicago versus AP. You can see it shifting. Okay. I'm going to insert a bibliography. Now I have them all here. Okay. But under each of these, I would have the citation and then I would have a little blurb about why I used it. Okay. So this one was, oops. 
this is transferring to a different program with a resume of submission. You know, this is information for our current CCD students looking to transfer. Other universities. In the Vermont State Colleges system. And transfer admission requirements. College. Okay. All right, and I'm going to actually change this up and do my own real world example. So let's see data analytics firms in Vermont. Take a look at what we got here. So I'm a very visual person, so I like maps. I like Google Maps for that reason. Let's see. Group six interactive. What's this? Website designer in Rutland. I got data man, marketing consultant in Hartford. Lantana Consulting Group. Okay. Deep Analytics LLC. All right. Middlebury College is listed too. Okay. And then there's a bunch up here in Burlington. Let's zoom in. IP Capital Group. Okay. Harbor Security, 